So the point of this series of videos in this section, which I have called application, is that we're starting to apply all of these pieces we've learned up to this point. Functions, methods, pointers, <laughs> data structures, structs, slices. We haven't really seen maps. I don't know if we'll hit those, but you know, we saw a little similarity with maps and the JSON stuff. So we're starting to apply what we've learned so far in this course and, and applying it to the purpose to understanding the standard library and even being able to use the standard library. So that's the point of, uh, of this section. And to that end, I want to take a look at the writer interface in this video, because the writer interface is, uh, is something that's really important to understand. You're going to see it all through the standard library. So that's what we're going to do in here. But the first thing I, I uh, want to do before we do that is, uh, is uh, and I think I'll change this from writers to the writer interface. Um, I want to just point out one thing about JSON, and that's encode and decode. So I'm going to go to godoc.org forward slash encoding and then forward slash JSON, and then just look for encode and decode. And to do that, command F code. There we go. And so we saw Marshall and unmarshal. And if you want to take data and turn it into JSON right in your program and assign it to a variable, you're going to marshal it. And if you have data coming into your program and you need to turn it into the Go data structure, put it all into a Go data structure, you're going to unmarshal it. What is encode and decode? So I, I think of encode and decode as doing JSON operations straight to or straight from the wire. <laughs> That's the way I think about it. And the wire is just like this wire right here attached to my computer. I don't know, I guess you could see that. Can you see that? Just barely. It's just like that wire attached to my computer. So as soon as something's coming in or going out from my program, I could use encode or decode just to send it straight out as JSON, or as it's coming in as JSON, decode it and bring it right into my program. I don't have to assign it to a variable like with Marshall or unmarshal, right? And so that's, uh, that's how encode and decode uh, work. And so you get a new encoder, and then to encode it, you, uh, you, uh, you give that encoder the writer. It's kind of interesting we're talking about this because we're going to write a, talk about the writer interface. You give it some sort of writer, like write it to this output source, and then you say encode it, and here's the data, and then check the error. And it will encode it straight to that writer, whether that writer is a file or it's a web connection and you're sending it back to a client. Um, and when you decode it, you give it a reader whether that reader is an incoming incoming uh, web connection, a request, or if it's uh, you know um, some file that you're reading, right? You give it a reader, and then you get a pointer to a decoder, and then you decode it, and you, you give it the data structure that you want it decoded into. And that data structure, uh, I'm just looking to see for decoder, decode right here, Decode reads the text JSON encoded value from its input and stores it in a value pointed to by V. So decode is just like uh, unmarshal. You got to have the value pointed to, right? So that would have to be an ampersand right in front of your value there. So that's just a little bit of a note about JSON encode and decode. And now what I want to show you is just a little bit about the writer interface. And so the writer interface, if we go to godoc.org, godoc.org forward slash IO, and I was just looking all this up, so I have a couple of these tabs open. But here's the writer interface. If we scroll down, we have type writer, type writer. And if we go to it, we see that typewriter is an interface. Typewriter is an interface, so any other type with this method attached to it is going to also be of type writer. So anywhere that you have a type writer asked for, right? It's the writer interface, just like we saw back here at godoc.org, encoding JSON. And we had uh, the uh, new encoder once from package IO type writer, any other type, any other type that has this method attached to it is also of type writer, and you could use it you could use it where uh, <laughs> you could use it where it's asked for, and so just take a look for a second at like if we wanted to see um, from package OS, for example. Let me see here. Right from package OS, we have we could create a file, create, give the file a name, and it gives us a pointer to a file and an error. 
With a pointer to a file, we have all of these methods attached to it. One of the methods attached to any value of type pointer to a file is this method, which is write b slice of bytes in int error. That method right there is the method that is required, right? Slice of bytes, int, and error. That method right there is the method that's required to implicitly implement the writer interface. So since a file, since a file has this method, uh, any value of type pointer to a file is also of type writer. And so if I have a file, because that file has this method attached to it, I have a pointer to a file, because that pointer to a file has this method attached to it, if I wanted to, I could pass that right here, that file right here into new encoder, and uh, that takes a writer. My file is both a pointer to a file and type writer, right? I could pass that file in here. It gives me a pointer to an encoder, and then I could encode straight to that file. Whoa. And that's like seeing the power of interfaces built into the standard library. Really amazing, really awesome, and the power of uh, IO writer. And here you can see new decoder takes a reader. So a reader works like the writer, uh, very similar. And if you look at uh, package IO reader, the reader has its own interface, and that's another really big one. So IO writer and IO reader are both uh, really big ones. IO reader has this method. It's an interface, and any other type that has this method attached to it is also of type reader. And so that's how readers and writers work, and it allows you to have interchangeable parts that could like connect and be put into different areas. Pretty neat. So I want to look at this a little bit from, um, uh, we will go to uh, a new tab, and we'll go to the Golang Playground, and we have Fumped Print Line Hello Playground. That's cool. Fumped Print Line Hello Playground. <laughs> and we're going to go to godoc.org forward slash Fumped. And when we go look at the index, I'm going to click on index up here in the top right, and go look at print line. Here inside print line, and I haven't showed you this yet before, but this is cool, uh, print line formats using the default formats for its operands and writes to standard output. Writes to standard output. I'm going to highlight that. Green. Spaces are always added between the operands and a new line is appended. It returns the number of bytes written in any write error encountered. And there's the uh, signature for the function. So print line, the identifier, here are the parameters. It's a variadic parameter of any type, empty interface, any type, variadic parameter. Returns an int, a uh, number of bytes written, and an error if we want to catch it. This is what's cool. I could click on this, and it takes me right to the code that the people who created the Go programming language wrote to implement that. And when I look at the implementation of print line, I could see... That print line, right, there's that function signature again. The code that runs it is it returns, it runs fprint, fprint line. And fprint line asks for OS standard out, and then it unfurls A. And A is going to be, you know, a variadic parameter of any type. And so that's going to be a slice of any type, and then it's going to unfurl that and puts all that in. What is fprint line? So go to godoc.org forward slash that, fumped forward slash flumped, go to the index, go to F print line, F print line is right here, F print line, F print line takes a writer and, uh, and a variadic parameter of any type, empty interface, right, variadic parameter of empty interface, but it takes a writer, F print line takes writer, and F here, in my mind, stands for file print, <laughs> print to a file, which also in my mind means any writer can go there because a file is a writer. But here you see that that is like, okay, cool. That asks for a writer. And in the implementation, the writer that they gave it, F print line, they gave it OS standard out. Oh, well, let's go look at package OS, godoc.org forward slash OS. And let's command F for standard out. And here's standard out. And it's a variable which is exported from the package because it's capital. And it's like got some pretty wild stuff going on here. But then it has new file. <laughs> and like I totally recognize new file. So if I click on that and open that up, new file gives me a pointer to a file. And I already know. And right now I am in uh, OS, package OS. I already know that if I have a pointer to a file, right? 
I already know that if I have a pointer to a file, then it, if I have a value of type pointer to a file, then that value is also of type writer, right? Because it implements the writer in, interface implicitly by having this method attached to it, right? It has that method, because what does an interface say? It says, hey baby, if you've got these methods, then you're my type, <laughs> right? And so type writer, io.writer, says you have to have this method to implement the interface writer from io.writer, and, uh, and pointer to file has this method, so it implements it. So it is any value of type pointer to file is also of type pointer to writer. And so when we looked at that, that uh, OS standard out, right? This thing here says new file, which means that this is also uh, implementing, it is also any value, any, any, this standard out is also of type writer. And so we are able to pass in standard out to fprint line, because fprint line wants a writer, wants a writer. That's kind of sweet. So here's our Go code right here. And we could take this from the documentation, that right there, and we are in package fumped. You can see that right here. We're in package fumped, source, package fumped at golang.org, golang.org source, package fumped. We're in package fumped. So I'm gonna take this code right here, F print line, just copy that. And I'm gonna come back to my Go playground and from package fumped, f print line, and I'm gonna write, because f print line wants a writer, I'm gonna write to OS standard out, and I'm gonna write this. Because that's basically undefined standard out. So I gotta format it, and it brought in package OS, right, and now I run it. And this is print line, just calls this, so that's all I did, right? This is what print line does, is this, and we just saw, we just saw that. And then you can start to see other things, like you might go to godoc.org forward slash IO, and there's also godoc.org forward slash IO forward slash IOUtil. And, uh, and you can look in here and you can say, what kind of writer stuff is in here? Command F, there's write file, file name, slice of bytes, and then permissions, and, uh, and an error. Huh, write, write a file, sweet. IOUtil, utilities to help you with input output. And then package IO, command F, write. Right? What kind of writers are in here? And we have these take writers, these take writers, write, write, byte writer, pipe writer, read, write, closer, read, write, seeker, read, writer. And then we have write, closer, type, writer, writer, writer. Interesting, right? Just kind of looking at the different things that are in there. And uh, I'm just looking for one right now. I want, which one do I want? The live coding, fumped IO write string. I had to think of the phrase in my head. Write string, so I'm just gonna add command F write string, because right, for whatever reason, my eyes weren't picking it up. So there's write string. So I could give it a writer and a string, and it returns int and error. Okay, cool, let's try that one. And so we could go IO dot write, and was it capital S? IO dot write string and it gives it a writer and a string. IO dot write string and give it a writer. I think the writer I'll give it this time will be OS standard out. And uh, the string I'll give it will be hello playground. Format it, brought in package IO, run it. Hello playground. Kind of cool. Now, hopefully, seeing that process, you're starting to get a little bit of a sense of like, and a little orientation to how I approach the standard library and read the standard library and how typewriter fix, fits into that and how interfaces help make all of that happen. And uh, the only way to sort of understand that, I think, from my experience teaching students is just for students to see it, <laughs> right? It's hard to read about it in a book. And, uh, and if you just see it, it's like, oh, wow, snap, check that out, <laughs> right? Like, that's kind of like what happens when I show people that. So hopefully you had a little bit of like, whoa, <laughs> where interfaces just kind of click to a new level for you. And you saw how type pointer to a file is, has that method, you know, that, uh, that allows it pointer to a file. Let's just go look at it. Pointer to a file has this method right here you know, which allows it to implement the writer interface from package IO. 
And because it's implementing the writer interface, anything that's a pointer to file is also of type writer. And, uh, and so where a type writer is asked for, like right here, you know, we're able to pass in OS standard out because it's also a pointer to a file. And both F print line and write string ask for a writer. Hopefully you're starting to get some of those clicks. All right, so that's pretty cool. And uh, that's part of the flexibility and power of the Go programming language. And that's a little bit of uh, insight and understanding into typewriter and interfaces and the standard library. Mm -hmm.